Happy holidays and a Merry Christmas. Today, we're finally doing it. Seven years later, we're finishing the hotel build. Also, if you're a channel member here, a couple days ago, I released a video where I reacted to part one of the hotel build. And that was a lot of fun because I got to go back, see how this started and give new commentary on it. So if you want to see that video, become a member. And if you're already a member, thank you. The date was January 2017 and I started this project thinking it would be two parts. I was like, yeah, we'll probably finish it next part. It'll be fine. A and then seven years passed and, and we're here today. <laughs> and my present to you on this day is that we're finally gonna finish it. Just to put this into a little bit of perspective, when I built this, there was only around 15 packs for The Sims 4, three expansion packs. We only had get to work, get together and city living. Now there's 15 expansion packs and overall about 71 packs for the game. <laughs> this was before Seasons came out too, by the way. All right, it's time to get serious. So this is what the hotel looks like. The original idea was that it would just be a fun build that you could use and obviously it's not gonna be functional. Uh, the idea was you could use it for a restaurant potentially and I built a commercial kitchen back here with the dine out stuff. You could also use it as a potential retail store as there's cash registers over here. Or you could of course use it as a gym because there's a pool, a full gym, and actually some uh, saunas down here as well. So it could actually be used as a variety of different lots. Because it's a hotel, of course, we do have hotel rooms. So this whole second floor is filled with a bunch of hotel rooms all the way around, even a nice inner courtyard just here. The next level is completely blank because back then, I did try to fill this, but the game was so laggy and it just did not run well at all. However, I think today we can actually fill it. Using for rent and like the apartment system, if we turn all the hotel rooms into apartments, I think first of all, we could furnish the entire building and it shouldn't actually be too laggy, at least in live mode, build mode might be. On the top floor, this is where I never finished it. And I also don't like this and I think I wanna redo it. We have essentially huge suites. So this is one big suite here. You know, you come through here, there's like a living space, a bar area, it's got its own kitchen, a dining area, a little office, and a large bedroom and ensuite bathroom. The problem I have with it is it doesn't match the style of the hotel at all. Like we've got this dark gray uh, wood tones, black color scheme, you know, it's very, uh, and down here, black and gold, very, distinct style and then this is completely different. Likewise, I started working on this, what I believe was a bridal suite and this is where I stopped. Uh, I also don't like this. So I think we'll probably scratch, maybe this entire floor started again. But first we got to fix this ground floor because you can have a look at this, this flooring. This is not a room, I can't even select it. It's got weird lighting. I built that before platforms existed. So first thing I want to do is turn this into an actual proper room. The easiest way to fix this is using the better build by mod and just turning this into a room. So without the mod, normally what I would do to fix this is I can drag a fence along the top of these stairs and you can see it'll build a wall, but check out the money. See, it's giving me plus 12,000. If I let go and do this, it'll have deleted a bunch of stuff from around the lot. There was stuff on the wall up here that has disappeared for some reason. And a few other random items from around the place have just disappeared. So what I'm gonna do with the mod, under better build, I'm gonna go deletion protection. And now if I do it, check this out. So I go here, go across. As soon as I do that, it doesn't delete any items around the place. And watch this, when I complete the room now, see, look, it's gonna delete all that stuff, right? But if I do it, the mod, make sure everything stays where it is. It looks very glitchy right now, but that's because the floor is in the way. Now all I gotta do is lower this back down to where it was and everything is exactly how it was. So I gotta say, thank you Twisted Maxi. This mod is super useful. And then once we're done with it, we just gotta make sure to turn it off. Otherwise it will definitely break stuff. So that's good. That's back to normal. Now, obviously the floor is different. I believe I used, I think I used this basketball flooring. I think it was honestly this or maybe like a lighter. Nope, definitely wasn't that. Ooh, you know what? Let's use the tomerang wood. Cause first of all, it looks very nice. And you know, what I actually found very funny about this build coming back to it now is I built and furnished this whole thing in early 2017 or like late 2016. And the style of it actually kind of reflects that time. So this build actually kind of looks dated because yeah, it was built like seven years ago almost. So I find that quite funny to be perfectly honest. But yeah, I like, I like that wood. I think that adds a much needed bit of warmth to the area. All right, the next thing I want to do is I want to change pretty much this whole half of the lobby, 
this bathroom and the, I guess, check-in area, the office area, it's kind of, it's a complete waste of space. It doesn't do anything. I mean, there are computers in here and Sims will use those, but if we're gonna make this a rental, where we can sort of run it as a hotel, I think just having like a business center with computers in it makes more sense. So first thing I'm gonna do is we're gonna get, I'm gonna clear out this whole half, I think over here. Okay, that's good. That was a total waste of space. We already have a bathroom over here, which I now wanna adjust because this is a specifically gendered bathroom, which I don't think is necessary at all. So I'm gonna just convert it into a unisex bathroom. Also, we only need one. I think having two bathrooms was really just a way to fill up the space, but it's completely useless. And also we have this weird hallway here that does nothing. So let me let me fix up this bathroom as well. So I think whilst I'm doing this bathroom, I also need to rework this hallway and also this back of front desk area. Hey, my big clock is gone. Okay, this is why you have to be careful when modifying stuff because sometimes things get randomly deleted, but the clock was just here like this and it looked like, okay. <laughs> so I'm gonna clear out this area back here too. I know at this point, it kind of seems like I'm rebuilding the entire hotel, but I'm not, and we're gonna do it quickly. So if I just downsize this a little bit, so then, ah! <laughs> no, that's too far downsized, undo, undo. Just a little bit. Okay, so that's like the check-in space. And then we can modify this back area. Okay, I think this is actually getting somewhere. I know it's a little messy at the moment, but the idea is, first of all, we've completely removed the back section of the check-in, right? So then it's just this. And if you wanted a retail store, you can still use the registers. And then behind here, we can use this as another room, whether that is like a little library space or something like that. Just something for Sims to do in the shared communal space. And then back here is obviously gonna be the bathroom. So I, instead we'll just build like cubicles out of walls, which actually, let me just check. Cause we do have cubicles now, which we didn't before. How big are these? Cause these might fit in okay. We do have a huge window right there, which is a little, Odd, but <laughs> can we fit these in? I mean, we can, but then we kind of end up with this weird corner space. I mean, a lot of the problem with this layout is it's all diagonal, but it might be easier just to do cubicles with walls. So we did four like that and then had a room like that. So it's a slightly larger, more accessible one. I think that'd work. Yeah, okay. And then we need to do something with this whole space over here. Cause this is completely, it was all just seating before and actually a second bathroom, which we definitely don't need. So I'm thinking we section up this area here and this could be like the business kind of space. So you could have uh, a bunch of computers in here and then these can be individual little office computer rooms that you could, I guess, use if they were free. Very common in larger, more business oriented hotels is having like the little computer space. So I think that could be good there. Then that leaves this area over this side, which we can definitely utilize. And if we just bring out this room, something like that. Okay. Cause then that gives us whole, I almost like function space, which we could use for a lot of different things. But I think this layout makes a lot more sense because then we have like the kitchen area, which I guess if you're using it as apartments would be like shared kitchen, dining space. Hey, my rug is missing. That's okay. Yeah, dining space, bar, retail space. If you wanted to do that. And then we have a few extra rooms here. That'll be computers and stuff. Maybe this is like a library. And then this is like, maybe like a, actually like a ballroom or something like a dance area where we could put like a, some music, some dance floors, that kind of stuff. So let me just neaten this up. So this is what I was thinking, you know, it's nothing too special, but we've got a bunch of computers in here and then a couple of little extra separate offices. And then here's the bathroom just finished off. Hey, let me just align that properly. There we go, that's a bit better. <laughs> yeah, so we got the cubicles there. I didn't really know what to do with this space because uh, there's a window there. I didn't really want a giant window into that cubicle. So it's just kind of open. So in here, uh, first of all, I think that light's probably hanging a little too low if we're gonna turn it into some sort of function room. So why don't we go, I feel like we could have some sort of stage here potentially. Could be fun to do, oh, you know, karaoke could be fun. <laughs> so I decided that I'm gonna limit the packs I'm using to the ones that I had when I built this, plus for rent, cause we're gonna do it as a unit. So I can use these luxury party stuff curtains on the wall. That's that's my choice. But I, cause I kind of wanted it to look a little bit more interesting, but I don't think there's really, there's really work. So it's not the fanciest kind of place, but I think this adds a nice little function room to the hotel. And of course you could refit this room with whatever you wanted, but I've done the little stage here in the corner. I got rid of the karaoke, it wasn't working. I thought we could do a karaoke room over here, but so now it's like a little DJ stage, or of course we could replace that with whatever you wanted, or you could just put up like a radio or something. We've got the dance floor in front of it, a couple of couches, and and these, I kind of wanted it to look like function tables. So maybe if you're having like a wedding or something, they're like fold out tables that they put in here. Normally you'd have like a cloth over it so it'd look nice. But these tables, of course, 
are the games tables. So you can do any of the games and any of those activities, including puzzles, Zone Wake the Llama, etc., etc. depending on which packs you have. Those should actually be very useful, uh, a nice fun activity. And then there's just counters here, because I guess you can just put stuff there. I wasn't sure if I should actually have counters everywhere. This hotel may need a playtest, because <laughs> if we got counters over here, I'm worried we're going to start cooking over here, walk and play stuff in here. But I guess we'll see. we got counters all over the place. So yeah, I'm pretty happy with that. I think it's simple, but I think it gets, it does the job. I think that's all we needed. Now I want to do this karaoke room real quick and also uh, probably should paint all these walls. I don't know what's going on down here. Let me sort out this, I guess we're going to do a karaoke room. Why not? I mean, why not? Because we've got to fill these rooms with something. So I think we'll do carpet because I think that makes sense for karaoke anyway. Just do some wood walls. That's quite nice. And I like the door and setup I've done over here for that room. Could actually have it there. Although that's right at the end of the stairs. I don't know if I like that. I think it should be in the hallway somewhere. Just because we have this hallway, might as well use it. So I spent a little time on this room, just got the little stage there, and then a little snack bar in the back, you know, popcorn machine, coffee maker, and then a couple couches. It's pretty simple, but I think that will sort of be useful enough to use it for karaoke. So I think I'm pretty happy with that. And that sort of concludes the changes I want to do to the lobby area. Besides, actually, I need to change all these lights to the small ones, to these ones, because these small lights didn't exist when the big lights were here. All those lights are gone now, which is good. Now, final thing I want to do on the downstairs is ceilings on these two function sort of rooms. I've done just a dark ceiling because I think it looks pretty good. The kitchen area, I kind of feel like we could probably do this, this sort of metal roof, because I've I think that'll make sense. Yeah, it's supposed to be a commercial kitchen, which by the way, beautiful kitchen with these windows, am I right guys? Now as for the rest of the lobby, yeah, the white ceiling isn't it. We could, what does just marble look like as a ceiling tile? That actually might work well. Like if I just go through and do marble through the whole area. I mean, I think that kind of makes sense. I think it looks okay. I don't know if it's maybe, maybe the flooring should actually, no, the marble floor is good here, I think. Maybe it should be wooden ceiling then. Cause it's just, there's a lot of, I think it looks really good over here with the wood and then the marble ceiling. But over here, something's not working. All right, I just turned it into the stone tile instead up top, which I think is better. Cause then it's not exactly the same. I think the, the mirrored texture on both. And when I say mirrored, I mean the same texture. It was too much, but I think that's good. You know, I really like these windows looking into that little room in there. <laughs> it's fun. Okay, where, oh, actually, you know what, the stuff, I want to change this. So we have this tiny little doorway here that goes down to arguably a pretty important area of the hotel, like the whole gym, pool, and spa area, which actually, I want to change these doors. I, I don't like these. I don't like the gendered bathroom setup. Like, I get that it probably would be good for a gym area, but this is Sims, and it doesn't matter. And it's also kind of annoying in Sims because when you're playing, you can't you, after, you can't even see the doors, so you don't even know which bathroom is which. So I'm just gonna change all of this into unisex. I also just replaced the walls of those like little cubicles with regular walls, because having half walls in the way is annoying. And I also replaced all the lights with smaller ones, so that's a bit better. There's, <laughs> there's still a lot of ceiling lights around here. But anyway, yeah, I want to change this entrance because it's a little it's a little strange. Like it's there, but it's like it's not. It's kind of it's almost hidden away. Now upstairs I've used kind of walls like that. I'm just trying to see what I did. So why don't we just do something similar? I don't think we need this. And I'm gonna put a fence there because otherwise we just have this weird like one tile opening. I can't really shuffle the stairs forward because otherwise the gap under here doesn't move forward. So I guess on the one hand I kind of see why I did it like that. But I think having it more open is a little bit nicer. Oh, <laughs> gotta fix that ceiling. Hang on. There we go. Yeah, I think that's nicer. And maybe these doors can do we have like a gray. Yeah, that's better. Just blend in with the wall a bit more. Oh, well, well, you know, it is what it is. I did my best. Okay, now all the hotel rooms, I think they're pretty good. However, since I built this, not only has Spa Day received a mini fridge in their refresh, but For Rent also has a mini fridge. And of course, Discover University brought them in, but we should definitely do mini fridges in each of these rooms. And that was a suggestion that I got. And I think that's what we're gonna do. Cause I mean, hotel rooms definitely have mini fridges. I'm gonna go around, add a mini fridge into each of the rooms. I think I'll just remove some of these random end tables that we have. And I think the For Rent one looks a little, well, it's a little messy, isn't it? I guess the Discover University ones would be a little bit neater because they have the solid door, but what about the spa day ones? I don't like the blue light. Hmm. Oh, this one with the brown kind of goes with the walls. Okay, let's do this. It's maybe, pff, maybe a little messy <laughs> with the fact that it's got a glass door and like a pizza box in it and cakes and stuff, but I think it'll do the trick. Okay, all the rooms have mini fridges, which is good. Now I need to do the same thing with the lights because we've got these giant ceiling lights everywhere. So I'm gonna go through and replace all of these with the smaller ones. Yeah, that's much better. <laughs> a lot less lights in the way now. So the next thing I wanna do 
is probably copy that entire floor of rooms up to this level. And then I want to see if we have the same lag issues that we used to have. So I'm going to have to be pretty careful doing this because otherwise we're going to duplicate items more than we want to. So if I copy this room and put it right here, I just want to make sure that I don't have like double curtains. See, I do. So it's it's doubling up the item. So I have move objects off. Let me try again. This is going to create a big problem if I have to. OK, there we go. I think I just have to toggle it. So I think now we have one of each item. Right. Let me continue copying and see how we go. So I have actually noticed at one point in the past, I'd already doubled up some of these doors. So that's not good. I got to go through and make sure that I don't have doubles of items because that's really not going to help anything. I got to check all of that now. OK, check this out. <laughs> OK, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. There was eleven doors on that one spot. No wonder this build was lagging. I don't think it had too many items. I think it had so many freaking doors on one spot. Oh my gosh, this room is the same. OK, I'm just clearing out all the doors and starting over. But the whole floor copied up now. I'm just going to replace the lights in the hallway because of the large lights. Something I did also realize as well is we had a lot of doubled up windows everywhere too, which I think, again, is from the copy and pasting. Even with move objects off, some of the windows would double up and then the doors sometimes went three to four times as many, even though the room I was copying from didn't have that. I don't know if that's a copy issue in Sims 4 or if it's from the mods. But either way, I've gone around and I've been making sure we only have one of each door and window because <laughs> that was a problem. And same with the curtains, because the curtains sort of come with the windows sometimes. We had more than one each, but it seems fine and I'm not really getting lag from it. So I think that's good. And what's our value? One point one million dollars so far. OK, OK, let me do these lights. Fantastic. All righty, this is coming along now for the actual bit that we haven't even touched at all. Upstairs. First thing I want to do is make it look like the rest of the hotel. Like you, all these rooms look the same. They have the same furniture, the same aesthetic. I think I, I want to do that up here. I know that's probably more boring to have it look the same, but as a hotel, I think that makes a lot more sense. So I really want to rework this. I think I'm going to keep the layout, but just change the furniture pieces. And there we go. I basically converted all the furniture into the style that matches the rest of the building. So everything is pretty much in the exact same place it was. I just changed it to match, you know, all the other rooms and all the other furniture in the hotel. So it actually is a little bit more cohesive. I also did all the wallpaper, of course. I changed some of the artwork around the place to be just a little bit more generic contemporary hotel from 2017. Hey, that wall isn't painted. Uh, hey, and this wall is the wrong color. OK, I'm going to have to go over everything with a fine tooth comb at the very end of this because there's a few messy spots, but that's OK. Yeah, so this is all just matching the rest of the hotel. And yeah, I think it looks good. I know. Yes, it might look a little bland, but hey, blame 2017 me, OK? 2023 me would never use only black and white. And you know what? I didn't. There's yellow, so. <laughs> OK, so now that that was kind of the easy part. Now we're going to start designing the rest of the rooms that we have. I guess we'll start over here in the bridal suite, as I was calling it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to get the base coat wall patterns that we have. So there's our bathroom. So we're going to use those bathroom tiles. And then my default wall is actually just this blank gray because that's what I've been using in all the other hotel rooms. So that's what we're going to use. And then the other stuff, uh, like going to change all these. I don't know why I thought it was a good idea to go a completely different style in the same building. It doesn't make any sense to me now. You know, present day me doesn't make any sense. I'm just going to use a regular archways. I'm going to get rid of that curtain. We don't need that. Even really basic stuff like the carpet and the flooring, that should all be the same because they wouldn't just do something completely different. And by they, I mean me. <laughs> now, we don't have any of these kind of benches anywhere, but I'm going to use these ones because this actually matches the vintage glamour set that we have throughout the entire hotel. So that makes more sense. And then likewise, this vanity, I should be using this one because this, again, matches the rest of the furniture in the hotel. And this is kind of fun. We just had a mannequin here so you could dress it up. I think the idea was we're going to put it in like wedding clothes or something, which maybe we should do. Uh, you know, I feel like I have to do it now. Otherwise, I'm not going to do it. So let me let me let me do that. OK, there we go. I just did very generic wedding outfits, which I think will do the trick. It is a bit weird to just have mannequins in a hotel room. I get it. But the idea is that maybe there's a wedding on and they've brought in the outfits to be. To, I don't know. I don't know. Stop asking questions. OK, just go with it. <laughs> <laughs> right. The next thing is the layout of this 
suite is strange. We got like this living space as like a L shape. And then this, I guess was supposed to be the bedroom. You know what, let me just do the bathroom first. That, that's easy. Very nice. Looks like every other bathroom in the hotel. So here's what I'm thinking. I've got a little kitchenette there. So you could have your fully functional kitchen. I know there's no bin yet. Don't worry, we'll get there. Then we have a little dining area over here and little living space here. Now I know the TV is kind of off to the side, but it kind of has to be because we have to have a door here because they have their own rooftop space, which we'd already done. Uh, at some point in the past. So they do need access to that. Actually, we probably need a railing there. That looks a little sketchy. But that's what I'm thinking. You know, it's not the fanciest place, but again, it's in keeping with the rest of the hotel, the theming, the styling. I think it works. And we used a lot of these everywhere. So I'm going to put that there. I like this piece because it's got that really strong yellow to it. And actually, oh, this could be quite good above the, uh, yeah, let's do that one above the, the couch there. Uh, very blank wall. Honestly, I think just making it wood might help. <laughs> and just do like a little separation there, maybe a column. Now, this is a hotel, so we don't want to go over the top of decorations, but it does need to look decent. And I think that that does the trick. So the actual bedroom space now gets to be the same, quite big, which is good. Get the same decor from around the hotel. We use a lot of these pieces in all these rooms down here. So I'm just grabbing the same stuff. You know what? I might give them a desk over here because that's a pretty nice spot for a desk. And then we can have like a little sitting area here as well. All right. I think I'm pretty happy with that. It, again, it's just got the same furnishing throughout. But it's got everything you need. You got the TV, you got oh, a little desk area. I might slide back a little bit. Could easily add a computer or something on there if you wanted. Got the little sort of dressing room, nice bathroom, nice living space. And of course, we already had the upstairs done. Though having said that, just grab the railing. I'm going to add that up here as well. Is the oh, interesting. Very interesting. I don't know why it's like this. I, I kind of want to probably fix these up. This one is not as bad. I don't mind this one. This one, I'm not sure. Maybe, okay, maybe I just need to do the half wall. Maybe that'll help. It's a bit weird. I, I don't know what. Hot tub's good. Uh, <laughs> the wall trims change color at some point. Oh, yoga. That's a good idea. We can do the same over here. Oh, we can do a little telescope up here. That's actually, that's actually a really good idea too. Maybe the same over here. Speakers or something up here would be good too. But it is outdoors and we do have seasons now. So I'm not sure what we'd necessarily do for that. We'd have to have somewhere undercover. Also, I don't even know if this works. I've got all these items sort of placed up on top like that. It's kind of cool, but uh, <laughs> I guess we have to test it. All right, well, that's fine. I'm happy with that. I like how this is the... <laughs> This is like the, I guess the bridal suite, the honeymoon suite. And we've got the woohoo bushes up here too. So you can use those if you like. Oh, let me add, just did a little in-room bin in here. And actually most of the rooms do have a bunch of bins everywhere. I'm gonna add another one in the bathroom as well. Cause I think all these rooms have bins in the bathroom too. Yeah, it looks like they do. Actually this one doesn't, but the bigger ones do. Okay, so that means in theory, we just have these two rooms left or these two suites left. Something I actually probably should do is I wanna use the garbage chute. Probably, where would it make sense? Maybe on this wall? Cause then it would, oh, there's a door right there. <laughs> okay, I was trying to think where it kind of logically makes sense to have one. So we could do it here. Cause down on all these walls, there is nothing on this wall. Uh, I guess there's not one on this floor, but then uh, hmm. I guess it doesn't have to be realistic, does it? <laughs> but yeah, there we go. So we got trash chute on each level so you don't have to walk all the way downstairs. You know, I feel like each of these levels should probably have a different artwork here. Because I was just about to copy the exact same one. But I think each level maybe should have its own art at least. There you go. So we got the this one, that one, and then I don't yeah, that's it. So just so it's not all exactly the same. And maybe I should change up some of these a little bit. <laughs> but you know, gotta start somewhere. Now one thing that's also kind of weird uh, in this room or in this suite is this wardrobe from the, I guess, presidential suite, if you will, comes into this room and also blocks that window, which doesn't really matter. I, I actually don't mind about blocking windows from the outside because that's pretty common in big buildings. They have windows everywhere, but I'm not sure what we do with it because I can't really put a wall there. I mean, I guess it could. It just cuts the window in half. Uh, we could. What if we just add back to back? So we do another one here on this side. And then uh, I don't know what this is going to be. This is all kind of weird, isn't it? All right. This, this is what I'm thinking. The bathroom is a little kind of cramped because of that wardrobe having to be there. <laughs> it, it, I mean, I guess we didn't have to put the wardrobe in here, but I did because we already had that space taken up. So we have the shower in here, just like we do in the other uh, suite over there. And then we have a smaller sink area, but we still get a bath and a toilet. I felt it was important to still have a bath, uh, but it does mean that the sink area is a little smaller and the door kind of opens here, which is 
not ideal, but it does work. And then we've got obviously the bedroom area in there. And then I've just got to go through and figure out the rest of this, but that's the plan so far. So this is the rest of the suite here. We've got the same little kitchenette that we had in the other one, little bin there. The table's here looking at the inner courtyard, which actually I think would be really, really nice. And then of course the other side, we have a TV. This one is on the table because there's not really a wall to put it anywhere. And then the bedroom is the same furnishings as all the others little desk area there. And I did decide to do some stairs to a roof space. And now, because when I originally built this, we couldn't fold the stairs like this. We now do have some U-shaped stairs that are gonna go up to the roof. So we're gonna build a little rooftop area here as well for them. And I think, I'm thinking I'm gonna have to add some stairs maybe over here to do like a utility section. Cause then we can add the stuff like maybe electricity panels and water heaters, which I guess it wouldn't really go on the roof, but in tall buildings, you'd at least find quite often in older buildings anyway, is a water tower. So we could kind of pretend the water heater is like a water tower rather than a heater. Or I guess I could put them in the basement down here somewhere, but I feel like having some sort of roof access, utility access would make sense to fill in all the extra gaps as well. I also changed the rooftop tiles to these tiles because I figured again, that matches the building aesthetic a lot more than what I had before. So I guess the idea of me using these huge shades everywhere was because we're on the top floor, I actually can't add a roof above this level. So I can add a roof here, but I can't add one above, right? And I can't add any more flooring. So that's why I guess I was using those, which means this is always gonna be exposed to weather, especially with seasons. So that's why I did that, if you're wondering. I don't know how this dishwasher works, if because this is outside. Is this just gonna break in seasons? Because I have this over here, right? <laughs> I don't know if that's just gonna get destroyed. This is pretty much the same as the setup over here. I was gonna do a huge uh, table like that one, but this is now, I think, the biggest upstairs space. And it's only a small suite. <laughs> so I didn't want to go too far with it, but it's pretty good. Like, if you got this suite and you had this roof space, that's pretty epic. Okie dokie. Off to this one. I don't know what is going on with these room shapes, by the way. I guess I planned this out at some point. Uh, well, I don't know if I'd call this a plan, but I did something. This is our space. Is there something better I can do with it? If I just did this, we could have a bedroom in here, which I guess is a little small. I was then I was gonna say we could have a big bathroom back there. Maybe I'll do it like this. The bathroom is weirdly long and thin, but then we have a big bedroom. It's, it's based on the ones downstairs, where it's like the thinner size, but it takes up the whole space. And then that's the living space. Okay, let me try that, let me try. Yeah, I think this will work. So the bedroom is just here. Same sort of furniture as downstairs, a little desk over that side. And then this will be the bathroom. <laughs> okay, the bathroom's a little, a little funky, but oh, you know what we could do? We could do the biggest shower in the building. Oh no, I don't have the pack that has, I didn't realize I don't have either Discover University or Snowy Escape that has the freestanding shower. I was about to do a huge shower room, but yeah, we, we, we don't have that. <laughs> well, it would have been cool. What we could potentially do, and I haven't done this in any of the other rooms, but we could actually get a window from the bathroom. Like some fancy hotels, they do this thing where they have like the master bathroom, where they have like the ensuite bathroom and then it has a huge window that just like looks through the main bedroom. Cause then in theory, whoa, whoa. You have a bath and then you could, you still get a view right from the bathtub. Now obviously there'd be some sort of blind or you could shut the window off or something like that if you wanted to, but you know, it's always there. So I think we do that. This, this room has the special bathroom. No, I, I actually, I like that. I think that'll actually work. having that sort of bathtub there. Uh, should I do it? Yeah, I did a black bathtub over there. I might do that over here too then. Oh, that would be so dirty though. You'd have to clean that so much for it to look nice. I guess I might as well do the toilet in its own room then. Because this bathroom is so big, I may as well section it off. Right, that'll do. <laughs> I guess the job done, there's a huge section of mirrors there. Separate toilet, nice big bathroom, bedroom. And then we're just gonna do the same sort of living room setup we've done in all the others. And then the little living space. So same sort of kitchenette where all these suites have. Little living area, TV on the table, and I think that's it. This one does not have stairs upstairs. I was actually gonna do that, but then this one's even smaller than the other one. I guess this is, oh, actually they're pretty similar sizes, you know what? But there wasn't really anywhere to put it, I guess is what I'm trying to say. Now, we gotta, well, we're gonna finish this lobby area. I think all the rooms are now done though, which is pretty exciting. So all these suites at the top, much bigger spaces than all the other rooms. But we have low, actually, I wonder how many rooms we have in this hotel. I did also, oh gosh, yeah. I did also notice that some of these wardrobes are also doubled up. 
No wonder this lot was lagging back in the day. I guess I shouldn't be surprised. I gotta check all of these as well. It seems okay now. Now, yeah, I wanted some sort of roof access, I think. Or do I, or do we just not? I guess we don't need it. Should the roof be like this though? This sort of material, or is that, that's a lot, right? Maybe just like a, just do that. that that's probably better. All these little side bits, actually kind of like the idea of like it being paved like that. So it's like, it could be balcony space. Like we could potentially renovate it to have actual balconies because it's like nice flooring out there. Not sure why that's set back if there's a reason for it. These lower levels, I think I'll do as like gravel. And then we got, we could pretend, I think the idea was maybe do planters or something in there, but I'm just gonna do gravel in here for now. And we can still put plants on top of it because it could be like a gravel base and having some nice plants coming out of it. And I guess I'll do the same on the one over here. Why is this set back? What is the deal with that? Is there a reason I did that? I don't think so. I think it's supposed to be here. Hang on. I think it's supposed to match the other two. It depaints it. Yeah, I think it's supposed to be like that because that one comes all the way out. That makes more sense. Sweet. You know what? I don't like that roof. Maybe it should just be gravel. It looks a little hard. Yeah, that's a bit nicer. It looked a little harsh. Okay, it is kind of weird that this room has the biggest balcony. The biggest outdoor space. All right, I'm just going to copy this lobby furniture up to the next level. Now, of course, in uh, newer packs, there are actual vending machines. But with the combination of packs I'm using right now, we don't have any. So I've just been using these get to work ones. I guess we could just put them out. It's a little bit tacky, but there's not really anywhere else I could put it unless I change some of these walls around here. Okay, that's good. But I am happy with that. Okay, so I wanna do utilities for this building because if we're gonna use this as a rental, that'll actually be useful. So I, I guess we should just do it in the basement. I was gonna do it on the roof, but somewhere down here might make sense. I guess we turn these bathrooms into unisex. Why don't I just remove one of them and turn it into a utility room? That might make more sense. So I think this will be, oh yeah, gotta do the concrete. This is gonna be our utility room. Is there a door that has like a utility sign on it? That'd be good. Oh, actually, let's use this. Cause then it's like, okay, guests, this isn't the door for you. You know what I mean? Stay out. You know what? We need a we need a keep out sign. That kind of is like keep out. <laughs> oh, hang on. What what about like this? This is gonna have like a little sign I could use. No bin room. Uh, I mean, uh, maybe I'll just use that, like the fire extinguisher. It's kind of like a utilities room. That uh, kind of makes sense to me. Okay, then in here, the flooring. I mean, I imagine it would just be concrete. So probably just that. It's just a utility room. Oh good, we have these fluorescent lights. We definitely gotta use these. So water heater, non-functional. Now, I don't think we need more than one because I don't think it's actually gonna do anything if we have more than one. But why don't we, cause this is a big building. So obviously you would need more than just this. Why don't we just do one and then get like decorative ones next to it, right? So we could have like a bank of them here, but then this is the one that you actually need to work on. I don't know if that makes sense. Like, does that make sense? Or, or would it be better to have multiple functional ones? And same with the fuse box thing. Now this is a tiny fuse box for like an entire building. I kind of wish they had like a really big one or like a full like transformer kind of thing. But let's say I put this here. I need to, obviously we need some light so we can see what the heck's going on down here. Okay, these lights really light up this side, which is actually kind of handy. Now there's other like electrical things. Like just, I just want the decorative ones, which I think if we go miscellaneous electronics, there's all this like stuff from get to work. So I, I think we just gotta put this stuff in here. It doesn't do anything. It just looks like it's doing something. I mean, this kind of looks like it could be a pool thing because we've got a huge pool right there with this thing. And then we have our actual electric panel, which we'll need to worry about. Do I want, I don't know if I want this many because we could put other stuff in here. Look, there's like hydro, what does it say? Hydro aqua filtration chamber. Yeah, we need that obviously for our building and this thing, whatever that does. And then I could get the decorative fuse box as well. Yeah, non-functional. And then why don't we just make this bigger? Because I feel like then it will like fit the theming. You know, we've got a couple of fuse boxes that are a little bit bigger, make them orange. And then this is the one we actually need to worry about over there. And then the rest is just decorative. And I think that's good. Yeah. Simple little room. Oops. And then you could add whatever you wanted in there as well. We still have the bathroom and all the showers down here for the gym. Now the finishing touches. We're just gonna do the exterior, like that just a little bit of landscaping. And then we're done. I mean, I'm pretty sure we're done. Please tell me we're done. <laughs> so I just did some marble out here. I kind of think we should probably have some stuff out here too, right? Uh, there should be probably some seating or something to wait. I think we need some of these outdoor plants here, like this. We could get maybe like this, just yeah. Okay, yeah. black. Oh, those are doors. Never mind. I won't do any there. But we could have that couch over there, so that you can sit down and wait there if you needed to. This does seem a little dangerous technically, but I'm not going to worry about it. If we could do diagonal stairs, obviously we would have done that. Now for around the building, I, it probably should actually just be concrete tiles because 
it is built up against this block. So I'm wondering if I just fill it in, but we'll have some garden planters like here where we have like the driveway, which also doesn't make a whole lot of sense because of <laughs> this just goes into this where there's clearly nowhere to drive, but uh, don't worry about it. I'm not changing it now, okay? It's not happening. Oh, we need a sign. Absolutely. Well, actually I'm using this as my hotel sign. So let me grab this and then this can go here and then we'll scale it a little bit. Well, let me put it in the middle and can you use these little light. I'm just trying to figure out how this is going to work first before I fully decorate it. You know, I look at this and I always think it says like crust pizza because there's a place called crust here. Pizza, surprisingly. And that's what it looks like to me. But I know it's simlish and it says Fancy hotel. That's what it says, okay? <laughs> Nothing else. Not cross. I'll just do this darker color. I think that's nice. Yeah, that's nice. And then let's do some... Yeah, it's a bit of fun though. It's, you know, it's a bit of fun. Do a couple here. I honestly don't think we need more than that. I think that's simple. It gets the point across. I think there should be some sort of paving here though. Like, well, what am I going to do around the rest of the lot? Let me have a look. Like, what tile am I using? Probably this one, actually, yeah. So let me do this. <laughs> There's a mailbox back here. Actually, that reminds me, I need to do, if we're doing it as an apartment, we're going to need to do mailboxes. Okay, so let me just go up to there and I'll bring it back a little further than that. And then here, I feel like should just come across. Yeah, that's cute. I'm just thinking we do the same thing over here. Same sort of plants. Okay, that looks that looks really silly. I don't mind that. <laughs> I, I don't know what to do with the rest of this space though. What if I just go round it like this? Okay, it's all right. I think we need some, maybe we need some trees here. What trees we got? We got palm trees around the place. Probably do a palm here. Maybe just in the middle. Cause it's far enough away from the building. It doesn't cut in. That's actually, that's nice. I think that's simple, but it adds. Oh, that side's actually a little bit bigger. This side has less room for the palm tree, but it can still fit one. It does still work. You know what we do need? I feel like we need one of these big lights hanging here in the middle. Like when you come up, <gasps> you know what would be cool? Have this light hanging down there and then have like a sunken. Ooh. Wait, can I do a circular platform? How big? Oh, it's gonna be too big, isn't it? It's gonna be way too big. Okay, never mind. <laughs> well, let me try to do a square one. So this is what I've ended up with, which I think is pretty nice. I wanted to do a little bit more with it. If I, if I could have used a fountain tool, I would have to put like an actual fountain in, but because it's right above the basement, it wouldn't let me. But instead I've done this sort of sunken area here. I've actually put some railing on it. So, you know, safe. Got the nice big spiral light hanging down in the middle. And then in live mode, this will be a fountain that's going off. I think it'll be very nice. And yeah, I think I think that'll be really good. Now, as for the rest, I don't think there's a whole lot else I really need to do around the building. I guess these were supposed to be planters, so maybe I should do like hedges or something. Does that work on the inside? Or is that coming through the wall? Oh no, that works. Maybe just that. It's really simple, but there's just because there's just these random sections that I've left. I'm not entirely sure what they were originally for, but now they can be for hedges. So we'll just have some yeah, hedges around the place. I don't know if that should be lighter color there though, because it the foundation doesn't really match at all. I think those should at least be dark. That might be those. What do we reckon? Yeah, that's probably nicer. That creates a, a little bit more contrast in those sections. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> let's go. All right, this is looking good. Can we get some more of the sign around the place? Like, should we, we could do like a tall wall here, like that, right? And then, yeah, the crust pizza place. <laughs> Just added a little bit of lights to it. That's good. Okay, so if this is an apartment building, where would we put all of the mailboxes? Do they fit here without move objects? They do, but it's kind of, <laughs> that's not a good spot, is it? They should be kind of out of the way somewhere. Oh, could I, oh wait, could we put it back here? Like and make it look like part of the check-in area? Because it makes sense, because that would be like where all the hotel room keys and stuff are. Problem is, we have to change a few things here. Does this even work? I feel like if that works, I'm happy with that. So I guess we'll have to test it. Well, I, I'm i happy. <laughs> I'm, I'm ready to dust my hands of this thing. Let's turn it into an actual rental lot. Let's go ahead and say residential rental. Okay. So <laughs> I gotta go through and set all the room. I actually don't know how many rooms we have. Let's see, I'm gonna start with room one being this one. Oh, it's got that, I forgot about the name bug where it's named the original lot. Oh well, it's <laughs> not ideal, but it is what it is. Anyway, I'm gonna go around, add all these hotel rooms. No joke, about two hours later, I finally set all the rooms as actual individual units. Seriously, every time I'd click on a room past like the six default and say add new unit or add it to the room, it took five to 10 minutes to just like add it in. Ugh, it took so long, but they're all here now. So you don't have to worry about it. And I did make sure to go through and add all the bedroom and bathroom numbers in every apartment. Uh, the largest one 
year, the presidential if you will, 372 tiles, pretty cool. So I wanna see how long it actually takes to place this lot. I have two versions that I'm gonna share. This one just called the hotel is actually just a residential lot. So this has no units at all. So I'm gonna click furnish and just place it. All right, that was just about a whole minute just to load this in. Not too bad, it's actually not laggy at all living here in this. Now I wanna see what it's like to place the one with the units. And just so you know how to place an apartment building, you actually have to change the lot type first. Most lot types, you don't have to change it when you're placing from the gallery, but with rentals, you do. So we're gonna set the lot type first, and then I'm gonna get the Magnolia Hotel and see how long it takes. Oh, that was actually about the exact same amount of time. So that's kind of interesting. And as, as you can see, it actually loaded all the units in. So yeah, it took about exactly the same amount. Right, I'm just gonna use it as a regular residential because I just wanna check a couple of things around the place before I share this to you guys. Does this work? Can I get to this? Oh, I can't really, mm, okay. <laughs> I can't really do anything unless there's mail. All right, well, we'll have to wait and see. Can I use this kitchen? Because it's kind of weird. It's finally happening, guys. The hotel is here. It only took seven years. Nearly, just under. Okay, great. We are actually cooking in this kitchen, which I'm pretty happy with. And I have no reason this wouldn't work, but you know, we'll go sing some karaoke. <laughs> yeah. Go out the front, we have our little fountain running. Very nice, very nice. Oh my gosh, you know what's really annoying? Is I spent like, <laughs> at least literal, literally, probably half an hour with how long it takes to load, putting in all the beds and bathroom numbers. And they don't save when you place it from the gallery. Okay, awesome. That's cool, no, that's cool, I don't mind, all good. Oh, okay, so I just wanted to check the actual penthouse unit, the default rent is actually 372, max rent 744. Okay, that makes way more sense. It was just weird from the from the menu. Well, the beds definitely work because I was a little unsure about this these nice stands sort of intersecting with a bed, but good to know that that works. Oh, actually, can I use these guys here? Oh, I can, I can just buy snacks from it. Oh, that's good. So they are kind of like vending machines in a way, but they aren't the specific vending machine item from other packs. I just really want to know if this works or not, because I like the look of it, but I, I haven't, there's no bills. I guess I have to play it for like a week. This is also the only room in the whole hotel that doesn't have a wardrobe. Uh, I did realize that, but adding a built-in one somewhere is not really easy. <laughs> with the way I've furnished and designed it. So I think I'm just gonna do a vintage glamour dresser just below the window. And then there, it has a dresser. Problem solved. Now, the final thing I wanna do before we end is test this lot as the other things I said it could be. First, the easiest one to do is gym. Let's try that. So we're here at the gym. <laughs> oh yes, good. There's people working, that's great. So if you just wanted to use this as a gym, it's totally possible because there's people down here working out. Eliza's there. We've got the gym trainer down here too, so that is good. Let me get down there. Jeffrey Landgrab is here, although he seems to be going into the computer room, which I guess is fine. As a community lot, I guess it's fine if they just do other stuff down here too. If you were to use this as a regular community lot, I'd probably recommend maybe emptying out the bedrooms because otherwise people are gonna just go upstairs all the time. Also having all this load on your computer is probably not necessary. But I would say functioning as a gym, success. What about, could probably be a lounge. Oh, we don't have a microphone, okay, never mind. But that's easy. Well, let's do a restaurant. I think that's gonna be interesting. We already have everything we need. Oh good, we have, uh, we have a host here, so that's working. We got the chefs, okay, the waiter, yeah. All right, let me request a table. This is not a test of whether dine out works. I just wanna make sure the venue as a restaurant works. <gasps> we have a bartender too. Oh no. Oh no! <laughs> okay, if you're running this as a restaurant, again, you might want to empty out some of the hotel rooms because my table is one in the suites upstairs somewhere. Which one is it? Ah, here you are, sir. Your table, your table, enjoy. <laughs> okay, yeah, if you do want to run this as like a restaurant. Oh God, someone's even here watching TV. It works though. On that note, I think we can finally close the chapter on the hotel build. Part four is here and it is done. I hope you guys enjoy the hotel because it, it's actually kind of cool. It's pretty cool. Uh, we fixed up some stuff from many years gone. Uh, if you want to download this, the link will be below. Otherwise you can look up James Turner YT on the gallery and it will work as a rental or a restaurant or a gym or a spa. I mean, you could probably use this for a a variety of different lots. So I think it's actually pretty versatile and it doesn't require that many packs, you know, get to work, get together, 
City Living, Four Rent, those are the main expansions. And then it was like four game packs, I think, Vampires, uh, some other ones. But, you know, whatever came out seven years ago, that's what this requires. And it doesn't have any of the new stuff, which is good, except before rent. Thank you so much to my top level members for supporting the channel. I really appreciate it. And of course, to all my members. And of course, thank you to everyone who joined the subreddit because two years ago, I made a promise that if we hit 25,000 members on our subreddit, that's when I'll do Hotel Build Part 4. And here we are two years later. It finally happened. It's finally done. Now we can move on. But thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time and have an awesome day.